let's talk about the causes of fever for two months with generalized lymphadenopathy. Fever for two months and generalized lymphadenopathy. What are the differentials that you should keep in the back of our mind? First of all, think about the basic subgroups, infections, hematologic disorders, and connective tissue disorders. Classic infections with this presentation may be a disseminated TB, HIV, and leptospirosis. Patients with TB will usually have a contact history. They may also have the classic features of TB, like low-grade fever and weight loss and evening rise of temperature. And patients with HIV will typically have an exposure history. Patients with leptospirosis will typically be sewage workers or farmers. Next up is the hematologic disorder. Lymphoma usually has B symptom, and B symptoms include drenching night sweat and significant weight loss. Uh, in patients with leukemia, you might find purpuric spots. Then uh, the connective tissue disorders. The common disorders are SLE or lupus, sarcoidosis, adult onset steel disease, and rheumatoid arthritis. Patients with SLE will typically have mouth ulcer, photosensitivity, um, alopecia, and joint pain. Patients with sarcoidosis typically have dry cough, and on chest x-ray, they will have the bilateral hyalur lymphadenopathy. Patients with adult onset steel disease will typically have prolonged fever, with a salmon color rash and sometimes arthralgia. Patients with rheumatoid arthritis typically will have small joint arthritis along with the alpha features, along with feature features such as fever and lymphadenopathy. 